konnichiwa minasan! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Raina Scully coming to you from Japan. It is now back to school season, which always reminds me of how much I miss school. Now, don't get me wrong, I wasn't a great student when I was younger and when I was attending. I definitely, definitely hated it. But now that I'm an adult, I feel like I've forgotten all of the crappy stuff and I only remember all the great stuff, which makes me really, really nostalgic and it makes me really like reminiscing about it. Anyway, I thought I would take this opportunity to share some of my school experiences with you because I not only went to a normal ass American public school, but I also went to a whole bunch of different types of of Japanese schools both in Japan and in the States so I thought we could maybe talk about some of the differences plus I got some classic Japanese back-to-school supplies that really really take me back so I wanted to show you some of them before we begin I'd like to thank Bookwalker for sponsoring this video Bookwalker is where I read all of my manga and light novels it is so easy and very important to my life I highly recommend it new users can actually get five dollars off toward their digital manga or light novel purchase by using my coupon code Reina. Please click the link in my description below to get more details. So most of you know I grew up in New Jersey. My parents and I came over to the States when I was three years old and we came because of my father's job at the time so we weren't certain if and when I would return back to Japan or whether I would just stay in the US forever. So with that uncertainty, my parents wanted to make sure that my Japanese education was continuing concurrently with my American education, which means I went to a bunch of different Japanese schools. So the first type of Japanese school I went to is called Hoshuko, which is a Japanese weekend school and you basically go through a full day of Japanese school on Saturday. Our curriculum consisted of Kokugo, which is language arts and kanji which is obviously a component of kokugo and then we would learn sansu which is arithmetic and then we would later learn sugaku which is mathematics and i do believe that in middle school we also learned a little bit of chidi which is geography and a tiny bit of dekshi which is history i loved hoshuko growing up because it mimicked all the good stuff about japanese school really really well. We even had Bunkasai, which is cultural festival day and it is exactly like it is in anime. It plays out the exact same way and it's just as fun. And we even had Undokai, which is sports tournament day and yeah, it was just so freaking awesome. It's basically field day. You basically got to hang out with all of your Japanese friends who are all extremely relatable and I loved it so much. I loved eating bento with all my friends every weekend. Academically, Hoshuko wasn't that aggressive, but overall it was so very important to me and my ability to maintain my Japanese identity. The one regret I have is not continuing Hoshuko throughout high school. I quit right after I graduated middle school because it was already then decided that I was going to stay in the States and that I was going to go for an American university. So I shifted all of my educational focus into my American and English studies. So yeah, I gave up on Hoshuko and Japanese and like ever moving back to Japan, which is like ironic now. All right, the next type of Japanese school is called Juku, which roughly translates to cram school or supplementary study school. I went to three different Juku growing up in New Jersey and I hated every single one of them. It's basically where you go to get more schooling, more tests, more homework, more anxiety. Most if not all Japanese kids go to Juku at one point in their lives because it is good for you. It kind of teaches you how to study, it keeps you focused, and it definitely raises your grades in your regular school. However, I personally did not perform any better on tests nor did I learn any more than I did in Hoshuko. So I really, 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 really hated Juku, all of them. I'm so sorry, I hated it so bad. I used to cry before the kanji test. Like I would straight cry in the car. My mom would kick me out of the car. I'd go up, fail the kanji test, and then like leave and cry again. And finally, I also attended school here in Japan. So my mom and I would come back to Japan every summer and I would attend the elementary school here in my hometown between June and July because summer vacation didn't start until like the end of July here in Japan. I did not enjoy this one bit because I was bullied really badly here 
and I felt like my summer was being ruined. However, I did enjoy the following because they are so very different from American schools and I just found them so interesting. The first thing is kyushoku, which is lunchtime. In Japan, during elementary school, all of your lunches are provided for you and it is a perfectly balanced, healthy meal and it kind of teaches all of the students to finish their meals regardless of their preferences and not be wasteful. The students are also assigned rotating serving roles, so each child gets the opportunity to learn how to serve all their classmates properly, and you learn portion control. Isn't it great to have rules and responsibilities? I know I sound sarcastic, but I actually really like rules and food, so this is just like checking off all my boxes. The other thing is that we don't have janitors in Japanese schools because all the kids, all the students clean up each of the classrooms before leaving for home every single day. I'm not selling this. All the kids are assigned different roles and they sweep and clean and mop and a lot of it is done unsupervised so that everyone learns responsibilities and the joy of working together. I know it really doesn't sound like fun but we always took that opportunity to hang out while we were cleaning so I always really enjoyed it. The word katazukeru means to tidy up or put away and sojisuru means to clean. So the one thing all these Japanese schools had in common was their their school supplies, stationery and writing utensils are kind of an art form here in Japan. You can go to any bookstore or any specialty store like Loft or Tokyo Hands and the sheer amount and variety of pens alone will mesmerize you. So as you can imagine, back to school shopping here in Japan is extremely intense. Therefore, I collected the most classic and nostalgic back to school supplies that I remember using to show you. Anyone who went to Japanese school remembers these Japonica notebooks. This is where you practice your kanji and write all your notes. Every grade has a different specification for grid size or otherwise known as masu. So this one, the masu is huge and it also has kokugo in hiragana which kind of tells me that this is for younger grades. And then there's this one where kokugo is in kanji and the masu actually lose the horizontal lines and they're all just straight vertical lines. So this tells me it's for an older grade. And this is what the specific kanji practice book looks like where you can actually place your furigana right next to it. Furigana is how you read the kanji in Japanese in hiragana. That was probably really confusing if you're not studying kanji. Never mind. And next are these mono erasers. I know you've seen this in like an anime before, right? If you have, please let me know which anime you've seen mono erasers in. These were so popular when I was growing up. They're still probably very popular, right? Because they're the best erasers on earth. It leaves no trace. Look at this black one I found. I don't think it does anything differently. I just thought it was cool. Next are these HB and 2B pencils. So HB is, I believe, the same pencil grade as American number two pencils. So this is Scantron and SAT safe. And this 2B one is made out of a slightly softer graphite. So it comes out a little bit darker. I don't know if this is okay on Scantrons actually. So handwriting was and still is a big deal in Japan. And I had horrible handwriting growing up, mainly because I applied too much pressure to the pencil when I was writing and it would just get kind of janky. So I would practice my handwriting using a lot of these 2B pencils in an effort to try to improve my handwriting so I could write a little bit softer since this comes out darker without as much pressure. It was hard. And this probably seems really random, but if you'd like a video on how to improve your handwriting in both Japanese and English, please let me know in the comments below. It was a long journey, but I do believe I have some tips and tricks that will help you too. And now the evolved form of pencils mechanical pencils. This is my favorite brand. It's called Dr. Grip. I remember I got my first Dr. Grip in third grade and it was green and it was the best thing ever. So what's cool about these mechanical pencils is you shake it to get the lead out and you can obviously use the top to return the lead back in, but this was just a lot easier to get the lead out when you're writing a lot. I love this so much. Plus all of their mechanical pencils were really thin like a pencil and it didn't really feel right but this has this like nice squishy grip and it also taught me how to twirl my pencil so I'm a true Asian. 
And that's it for this back to school in Japan video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below which anime do school supplies like these remind you of the most. Thanks again so much for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Sonjamatane! All right, the next type of Japanese school, because there was, fuck, did that make any sense? Ugh. I'm not even doing it right. I'm doing it like the fake way. I can't really get it around my thumb. I'm afraid to drop it, but yeah.